guys, how's it going? It's Eric King, and I know it's been a while, but I finally managed to get the time to do another tutorial. I know I said I was going to do this at around 75 likes, and it looks like my tutorial actually got around 160, which is super awesome. So the next tutorial is going to be at 75 likes again. Uh, just suggest stuff in the comments or maybe through Skype and Twitter. And as long as it gets the word out to me, I'll, I'll look at them, pick something that I think hasn't been seen too much, and it'll help people, and they want to learn it. And I'll do that in my next tutorial. But for now, I'm going to be teaching uh, pan crop or otherwise known as uh, scale or screen pumps. Uh, they both mean the exact same thing. So you could call it scale, you could call it screen pumps, or you could call it pan crop. I just call it pan crop because it sounds nicer. But that's what we're going to be learning today. It's what you saw in the beginning of the uh, video with the clip right here. And it has all the um, color correction, the screen pumps and stuff. So I'm pretty much just going to be teaching uh, how I did the screen pumps. There's actually two other ways that I do this. So I'm going to be teaching you guys three different like methods, I guess you could say, about uh, screen pumps. So I'm just going to start off by uh, hiding both these layers deleting this one and we're just gonna start fresh we have our sync clip and I'm just going to press control alt Y that's gonna make a new adjustment layer so this is what we're gonna be working with is this one adjustment layer or you could go to layer new adjustment layer I usually just press control alt Y because it's a lot faster so if you learn how to do that it's gonna make editing a lot easier for you and now we just want to go to our main effect in this tutorial which is transform I already have it typed in here so just type in transform in your effects and presets and drag it in your adjustment layer right here so we have this uh, the reason why you want to use transform if you don't know what it is you can see it has scale opacity rotation it has everything that you would normally have in a clip like right here um, the reason why you want to use scale on transform rather than on your clip is because uh, let's say you have an effect or maybe some text over this clip. If you use transform and scale it up, it's going to scale up both of them. While if you do scale, it's only going to scale up the clip and not the effect. So it's just going to make it look a lot nicer. It's going to be more organized because you have it all in an adjustment layer and we're just going to use transform and I recommend you always use transform when you're scaling something so we're going to the beginning of our clip right here and I'm just going to set the scale to about 108 I uh, 108 is probably a good one uh, because for clips uh, console clips you can see there's uh, the HUD right here it's a lot more noticeable when you scale it up but let's say it's like a, a PC clip or a frag uh, there's usually not going to be a HUD, so you can um, set it up to about like 130 and it won't be noticeable. So keep that in mind for console clips, have it set to about 108 to 110. And for PC clips, you want it to about 130 to 140 because it's uh, a lot harder to notice. But since this is a console clip, we're going to start it off at 108 and go to the beginning of our clip and set a keyframe right here. Now if you press U on your keyboard, it'll bring up all of your uh, keyframes on the adjustment layer and you should only have one, which is right here. Then you press U on your clip and it has all the synced things that I synced uh, a while back. So I have all these keyframes from the song. Um, so it's synced up with the song right here. And we're just going to go to the beginning of our clip again go forward one to three frames set another keyframe and then you want to highlight your keyframes press control C then go to all of your beats which would be right here and press control V which is going to paste it uh, right above the beat so you can see this one's aligned with the beat right here but then this one's off to the right so what you want to do to fix that is just kind of move it to the side so it looks a little bit centered I know this one's a little bit more to the left but just make sure it's a little bit more centered like this and you just want to do that throughout your whole clip or all of your beats this is gonna take up a lot of time but honestly it's so worth it in the end cuz uh, pan crop is like a really huge part in editing so you have this, you have them all set to 108, so that's why it looks like nothing's moving. All, all that happened is uh, it got scaled up a little bit. So what we want to do to make the scale move is highlight your keyframes, 
and then press F9 or you could just go to keyframe assistant easy ease and it still looks the same so how you want to fix that is the same way we did our syncing you go to your graph editor and you have this straight line this is what's happening to the scale right now so you want it to be moving a lot because um, right now it's just a straight line what I did that you saw in the beginning of this video is I just grabbed the middle of it and I pulled this down uh, you don't want to pull it down to 100 because uh, there might be like black bars uh, on the edges or something depending on what they recorded with but I'm just gonna set it to around 102 101 uh, and you just want to make it so these two yellow dots right here are in contact with each other or they're like nearby each other um, the good thing about pan crop is it doesn't have to be exact uh, you can see this obviously looks a little bit different than this but as long as it has the same like type of shape it should be fine and now you can see here we have a lot of little beats um, so there's two beats where there would normally be one beat here so if you have a really fast beat um, what you can do is instead of going all the way down you go about halfway like this so you can see this is set to about 104 105 and you want to do that with all of the fast beats right here so it doesn't look like they're being like shot down and then shot back up really fast you want it to look uh, really smooth and stuff so I'm just gonna do that with the rest of this um, like that and you could see this is another like uh, large beat so just set the keyframes and then yeah set it so they're like in contact with each other and that's pretty much what you have right here now if we uh, RAM preview it right now um, you guys probably can't hear the music but uh, you can see the pan crop right here it's uh, jumping up it looks pretty nice I like it so what you want to do uh, if you have let's say a different song um, which like I said you couldn't hear mine but uh, I'm just gonna show all the different stuff you could do with this if that's all you wanted to learn uh, that's pretty much it for the video but for those of you who want to learn every type of pan crop that you could possibly use I'm just gonna show that right now so you just want to manipulate the graph and change it so it's you know different this is how Pidgey's looks like if you guys know who Pidgey edits is uh, his screen pumps are more like this where it's a curve like an oval instead of like uh, going instead of going to the right he just puts the uh, lines straight down so I'm just gonna do that really quick and uh, I'm having trouble with that one but I'm going to drag these down really quick just to show you what it looks like and I'm almost done here like I said this is gonna take a really long time if you have like a full episode or something that you're editing but I'm gonna ramp preview this one and just look usually I'll look right here but you can see it's a little bit more uh, like bouncy I guess you could call it like rounded because obviously it's going like an oval so that's another way you could do it and the final way you can go uh, with pan crop is let's say you have like a really chill song you want like a really uh, constant like linear uh, screen pump you can make your keyframes uh, touch make contact with each other in the middle of the uh, of these keyframes like this so you want them to just be uh, as centered as possible and make it so that they're touching each other and I'm gonna do that with the rest of these really fast and other than that that's the only type of pan crop that I use uh, I use the first one that I showed you guys I I'll always use that one um, but in case there's a different type of song or something sometimes I'll change up the pan crop and make it a little bit more interesting for me so you can see this one's pretty much like a straight line so that's the third type uh, I don't really use this one as often but let's say you have like a really slow like hip-hop song or something um, you could use that but normally I'll just keep mine like this I'm going to have it set to how it was before and just show you guys one final time so you guys can see what you're working with and you can see right here 
it's uh, pretty much done. That's all you really need to know about Pancrop. So that's pretty much gonna be it for the video. Uh, you know, suggest some stuff through Twitter, comment below, or message me on Skype saying some stuff you wanna see, and I'll do that in my next tutorial. But uh, like I said, that's pretty much it for the video. I will see you guys later.